Welcome to the next episode of the Dark Web Deacon. So let's check our secure connections, adjust our hoodies, and as always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As machine learning, the metaverse, and AI become more widespread in our daily lives, you will start to hear more and more about synthetic data. So what exactly is synthetic data? Simply put, Synthetic data is data that is generated from computer simulations and algorithms. Put another way, synthetic data is created in digital worlds rather than collected from or measured in the real world. So for example, all your user interactions, behaviors, and decisions you perform in the metaverse would create a trail of synthetic data. Why are companies so interested in synthetic data? Well, it provides an inexpensive alternative to real-world data that's increasingly used to create accurate AI models without having to deal with data compliance or regulatory oversight. It may be artificial, but synthetic data reflects real-world data often and can reflect real-world outcomes. Researchers have demonstrated it can be as good or even better for training an AI model than data based on actual objects, events, or people. In a June 2020 report on synthetic data, Gartner predicted by 2030, most of the data used in AI will be artificially generated by rules, statistical models, simulations, or other techniques. In the article, they have said, quote, the fact is you won't be able to build high quality, high value AI models without synthetic data, end of quote. Now, let's not confuse synthetic data with augmented or anonymized data. Data augmentation is a technique that involves adding new data to an existing real-world data set. For example, you may rotate or brighten an existing image to create a new one. That's data augmentation. Also, given concerns around government policies in regards to privacy and removing personal information from a data set, it's increasingly common practice to anonymize data. And it's especially popular for structured text data used in industries like finance and in healthcare. Anonymizing data often refers to obfuscating the data through encryption or mapping it in such a way that it can't be reverse engineered to get back to the actual person it's associated with. Augmented and anonymized data are not typically considered synthetic data. However, it is possible to create synthetic data using these techniques. For example, developers could blend two images together of real-world cars to create a new synthetic image with the two cars. The main driver for the explosion of interest around synthetic data comes to cost. A single image that could cost about $6 from a labeling service can be artificially generated for about six cents, according to Paul Waborski, who co-founded one of the first dedicated synthetic data services. Synthetic data is not new. It's been around in one form or another for decades. It's in computer games like flight simulators and scientific simulations of everything from atoms to galaxies. Banks, car makers, drones, factories, hospitals, retailers, robots, and scientists are using synthetic data today. Here is one example of synthetic data in use. Researchers from Ford describe how they are combining gaming engines and generative adversarial networks to create synthetic data for AI training in order to optimize the process of how it makes cars. So where can you get a hold of some synthetic data? Although the sector is only a few years old, more than 50 companies already provide synthetic data in some form. Each has their own version of it, often focusing on a particular vertical market or technique. For example, AI.Reverie in New York offers simulation environments with configurable sensors that let users collect their own data sets, and has worked on large-scale projects in areas such as agriculture, smart cities, security manufacturing. SkyEngine, based in London, works on computer vision apps across markets It can help users design their own data science workflow. Israel-based DataGen creates synthetic data sets from simulations for a wide range of markets, including smart stores, robotics, and interiors for cars and buildings. 
Savidia includes Airbus, Honeywell, and Simmons among users of its customizable tool for computer vision-based synthetic data. The market for synthetic data looks like it shows no signs of slowing down and will only grow and may ultimately replace most real-world data for decisioning in the decade ahead. Check out the Dark Web Deacon merch store. We have high-quality t-shirts, accessories, and signature hoodies, of course, and become a true Dark Web enthusiast and VIP. New videos are published every Monday and Thursday.